Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be creating some CSS3 pricing tables or pricing boxes, whatever you want to call them. Now, this shouldn't take long at all, and you may have noticed that uh, I've been doing a lot of small and quick project videos. And the reason for that is, in addition to the, you know, the big project series and the more difficult back-end stuff, Node.js and all that, I want to I want to kind of have daily or bi-daily small project videos as well as 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 more front end stuff. So my goal for this channel is to be very diverse and I want to help as many different types of developers as I can and that includes people that are just starting out. I'm actually working on a big web development for beginners series where I'm going to start from absolute scratch and teach teach as if the person that I'm talking to has never written a line of HTML in their life because there's a lot of people that are just starting out and they come to my channel and they're completely lost at where to start because there's so many different technologies I have almost 400 videos and uh, I think that series will be a, a really good starting point for for newcomers so uh, hopefully you experience guys uh, you know all my subscribers you guys will watch it as kind of a refresher as well but let me know what you think about that as an ongoing series all right, so this is what we'll be building. You've probably seen this many times on different uh, websites, especially like um, you know software as a service sites and web hosting sites. Um, we basically have a couple different packages here. In this case, these would be web hosting packages, so simple, standard, super, and they each have different price points and different features. Okay, so you'll see the simple package has 20 gigs of disk space, 100 gigabytes transfer, and so on. Um, the next tier has 75 disk space. Next tier has 120 gig disk space. So uh, this is very common, all right. And this is this is pretty simple as far as design. I wanted to keep it simple, and this should this should be a very quick video, all right. And notice that the middle one here has this, the kind of shadow around it, and that's because this would be like you know the best deal or whatever. You could even put a label here that says best deal. And as we hover over the other ones, it also gets that shadow effect. Okay, so the, the code, the markup is going to be very, very simple. The CSS is going to be simple. Um, I just wanted something that, um, you know, people could easily understand. And this is also completely responsive. You'll see if I make it bigger, it goes along with the size of the screen. If I make it smaller, and we get to a certain point. I think it's 700 pixels. It'll break into uh, single columns or single tables, which is nice. So this would look good on, on a mobile device as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I do have a folder here called pricing tables with an empty index.html file and an empty style CSS file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab and I'm going to start the server. Okay, I'm using Atom for my text editor and I have a package called Atom Live Server. So I'm going to go ahead and start that and that should open up on my local host. And we just have a blank page here. We actually didn't need that tab. So we're going to get started with the HTML. So we'll go into index HTML and I'm using Emmet. So I'm able to just do exclamation tab and that'll give us a, a basic structure for our for our website. So for the title, let's go ahead and change that to, let's say, uh, responsive CSS three. Sorry about that dinging, guys. Pricing tables. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna include the style sheet that I have, which is called style.css. And in the body here, the, the HTML is gonna be pretty simple. First of all, we're gonna have an H2, and I'm just gonna give this. Um, uh, let's not give this a class at all, actually. So it'll just be an H2, and we'll just say responsive, uh, responsive CSS3 pricing tables. And then each of these these um, columns are going to be in a class called call. So let's create a div with the class of call. And inside here, we're going to have a UL and the ULs are going to have a class of price box or price dash dash box. And then we'll have a bunch of LIs. Now, this first one here is going to have a class of header. This is where the price is going to go. I'm sorry, not the price that the title of the package. So this one will be simple. And then the next one here is going to be where the price is. All right. Now I'm going to create a class called emph for emphasis or emphasize. And this is going to be any row that we want to have a, like a, a light gray background. Now I could put a class like gray, but what if you wanted to change it to a different color then then that really wouldn't make sense. So I think that this is a little more semantic. So in here, let's put in some strong tags 
and we'll put the price, which will be $5.99. And then after the strong tag, I'm going to do slash month, okay, because it's per month. And then we're going to have our features inside of uh, the rest of our list items here. So we'll say strong. And this is going to be the disk space. So we'll say 20 gigabytes. And then after the strong, we'll say disk space. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy this. Okay, a couple more. Jesus Christ. Hold on, guys. Let me. Let me. Um, silence that silence all right so disk space then we have uh, the bandwidth or the, the data transfer so that's going to be 10 gigabytes and let's change that to data transfer and then next we have the domain the number of domains that are allowed with the account so that's going to be two domains and let's say 50 email accounts And I actually used to be a reseller for HostGator. So when I had my, my web development company, I also basically had a hosting company and I could set up packages for different prices and set up hosting. Um, if you guys are interested in, in me doing a video on kind of showing you how to start up your own little hosting company, let me know. I'll show you how we can purchase a reseller account, how you can uh, integrate a, um, a platform like WHCMS, which allows you to uh, you know, gives you credit card processing for your packages and all that. If that's something you guys would be interested in, I'd be happy to do it as long as, you know, as long as it was, there was enough demand for it. So uh, let me know about that as well. I like to get as much um, feedback as I can from you guys about what to do next. You know, whoops, that should be just two. And then FTP accounts. All right, and then this last one here is going to be the sign up button. So uh, we're actually going to just get rid of that. And this is also going to this is going to have a class of emph because we want it to have a great background. And then let's do an a tag and we'll give it a class of button. OK, it's not actually going to go anywhere. And then for the text, we'll just say sign up. All right, so there's our first column. Now we can just copy this column and paste in two more. Okay, and then the second one here, this is the one that's going to be the best deal. So it's going to have that extra shadow. So for the UL, I'm going to add a class of best. Okay, and then let's see, this is going to be standard. Now the headers are going to have a black background, but for the middle one, I'm going to make that one. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to add a style here. You could add a separate class. Actually, no, that's not really a clean way of doing it. Let's just give it an extra class and we'll call it, um, I don't know, header two, I guess, or header black. Or no, it's not going to be black, it's going to be green. So header green. And for the price, let's change this to let's six, we'll just add a one. So it'll be $15.99 per month. We'll change the disk space to 75. We'll change the data transfer to 50 domains. Let's say 10 domains, uh, 100 email accounts, and let's do unlimited FTP accounts. All right. And then for the last one, whoop, that was the last one, wasn't it? Shit. All right. You know what? Let me just grab this and put that in the middle. All right. So for the last one here, let's uh, let's change this to 25 per month. And for the disk space, we'll say 120. The data transfer is going to be 100 gigabytes. The domains, we're going to do unlimited domains, unlimited email accounts and unlimited FTP accounts. And that's it. That's it for our markup. So if we take a look at that, it looks horrendous, but we haven't added any CSS yet. So now let's go into our style CSS and we're going to start with the body. I just want to change the font. So we're going to say font family and let's set that to Tahoma. All right. And then we'll have the backup of sans serif. I also want to change the background to a dark background. So we'll do triple three. And then we're going to change the color to white, which is triple F. 
All right, and then we're going to move on to the call class, which is wrapped around each one, each box or column. And we want these to float to the left. And there's three of them, so we're going to set the width to 33.3%. All right, and then we're going to set the padding to 8 pixels. Now, if we look at that, you'll see that they're not all on the same line. The reason for that is due to the extra padding, okay? So what we can do here is we can assign this a box sizing, and we can set this to border box. What that's going to do is it's going to include the pad all the padding for everything inside of the width. So you'll see if we save that, now it goes all the way across. The padding isn't ruining it, okay, and pushing the next one down. And that's all we need to do for the call class. Now we're going to move on to where we do most of the work, and that's going to be in the price box. All right, so for the price box, we're going to give it them a background of white. And let's give a color of kind of a dark gray. So we'll do triple five. And then we'll set the list style to none because we don't want any bullets. Um, or let's, let's do list style type. And let's see, we'll set the border to one pixel solid. And let's do triple five for that as well. And then we're going to we're going to zero out the margin and the padding. And let's uh, let's also give this a transition of uh, 0 0.3 seconds. So if we save that, you'll see we get the background and all that. Most of what's going to make it come together is the list items, which we're going to style in a minute. Now, I also want to set the shadow for uh, for when we hover over also for the best class. So let's go right under here and say uh, price box and we'll do colon hover. And also price box and um, the class of best. All right, actually, we want that to be we don't want a space right there. So for that, we're just going to add a box shadow. And we're going to do zero, 10 pixels, uh, top right, 15 pixels, zero, and then the color, which is going to be black. So let's save that. And now you see the middle one has that black shadow. And if I hover over these, they get they get it as well. So now we're going to start on the LIs. The first one here is actually the header. So let's do that first. We'll say uh, price box header. And we're going to say background color. And we're going to set that to just a little lighter than than um, black. And then set the color to white. All right. And then let's set the font size to 25 pixels. Save that. OK. Now we're going to do the list items in general. So price box li. And let's see, these are going to have a padding of 20 pixels. We're going to add a border bottom of one pixel. We'll make it solid. And for the color, we're going to do triple E. And then we just want to align everything to the center. So text align center. All right, save that. And there we go. So now it's starting to come together. Now for the emph class, that's going to give it kind of a darker background. So let's go ahead and do price. Uh, we're going to do price and then the class of emph. And we just want to change the background color to uh, let's do F4 three times, which is light gray. I'm also going to change the font size to 20 pixels. And oh, this, this should be price box. There we go. So now the prices have the emph and so do the uh, the button background. So now let's do the buttons themselves. So we'll say class button. And we're going to set the background color to uh, a green color, which is going to be the hexadecimal value of 4CA uh, F50. Oops. 
f50. Okay, we're going to set the border to none. We're going to set the color of the button text to white. We're going to set the padding to 10 on the top and bottom, 15 on the left and right. Set the text align to center. And let's set the text decoration to none cuz we don't want an underline and then the font size to 18. save that and there's our buttons. Now the last thing we want to do is make these responsive. You'll see if if we go really small, that obviously doesn't look very good. So we're just going to add a simple media query down here. So we'll say at @media and we're going to set a max width of uh 700 pixels. So anything that's under 700, this will be in effect and we just want to take the call and we want to set the width to 100% instead of the 33. So now if we go to 700 pixels or lower, it goes to one column. All right, and that's it guys. We now have some pricing tables. Let me just I just want to center that H2 actually. So let's go up here and just say H2 and text align center. There we go. Oh, and for the green, the header green, I also want to do that. So, let's see, would we do the header right here? So, we'll go price box dot header um dot header. Did I do header green? Is that what I called it? For the second one, yeah. This will actually go like that. And let's set the background. It's going to be that same green of, as the button. So let's grab this right here. We'll say background color. Save that. And now the middle one has a green header. So that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.